As many of you guys know, about a month or two ago, I put out stuff on social saying, hey, I'm going to be making a video rating your Witch Queen slash Season of the Risen God rolls, and that's what we're going to be doing in this video, and y'all freaking blew this Discord channel up. There are a good amount of weapons in here to look at, and I'm very excited to go through some of these, and then also showing off some of mine at the end of the video. But before we get into it, you guys know the drill. If you like what you see, again, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn that bell next to notifications so you don't miss out on another video. Number two, I do stream live on Twitch three days a week, twitch.tv slash it's Dave TV Gaming. That link will be in the description. Again, I mainly play Destiny 2, but we also play a variety of other games as well and also do some editing streams. And number three, like I mentioned, if you do want to join my community, I do have a Discord. That link will be in the description as well. Like I said, mainly Destiny 2, but we also have plenty of other channels in here like PC Tech, Mindset, Valorant, bunch of stuff you guys want to check it out all right let's get into it you know since you guys blew up this channel i was gonna go through every weapon and rate it like a one through a five of a god roll you know for like the barrel the mag the trait one trait two perk and the masterwork i was gonna do all that but there's so many in here that i just want to pull out the specific god roll ones for you guys so the first one that caught my eye here is the one from smiles this is the funnel web i think we all no funnel web is fantastic this season, especially with the Void 3.0 changes, the Vault Tower rounds, etc. Especially having something like Subsistence and Frenzy, that automatically makes this thing fantastic. Again, barrel wise, I personally don't think it matters in something like you know PVE. Flare Mag is not bad. I'd maybe change this out for a Pendant Mag to make the magazine even bigger to be able to have Subsistence last longer. We do have a Reload Master Rig, which you know I think that's pretty good as well. And like I said, funnel is fantastic. I have two rolls, one with frenzy, one with adrenaline junkie. So then I can actually, you know, get a grenade kill, have it go up to times five for the damage. But overall, I would give this one a four out of five. Again, like I said, the magazines, you know, kind of lacking. And flare, like I said, flare mag was not bad, but again, probably go with a pen and mag. This is not too bad smiles. Now this one's from Neko and obviously <laughs> the Palmer would be is easily the best rocket launcher by far people are going to be using it like crazy and obviously <laughs> auto loading holder enhanced and explosive light enhanced with the um you know impact casing and i believe this is smart drift control with the boss spec again this is a five out of five and so many people have this thing especially with this specific role like neko has it here like i know plenty of other people have it you know noob here has it let's see huntito has it but it's not the crafted version let's see i believe connor yeah, Connor has it right here. Like the Palmer B is just absolutely disgusting. I would say the only thing that I would potentially look into for everybody that's here is that you can switch out explosive light with lasting impression depending on your encounter. But personally, I think explosive light just ends up working out a lot better for everybody else. Now, this is another one from Noob, and I don't think it's a god roll, but this is something that I did want to point out. It comes with triple tap and four times the charm, right? So <laughs> Literally, as long as you're hitting your headshots, you're getting so much ammo back. So after four, you get two. After three, you get one. So three, one back, one more. So you get like three back every four bullets, I believe. That's how the math works out. If that's wrong, put it down in the comments. Definitely let me know. But I just think this is a hilarious combo. Plus, <laughs> high caliber rounds for flinch. You could put on like boss spec for this. And, you know, potentially have a primary that does okay boss damage. Again, people are like, oh, you probably want Vorpal, which I understand. But I thought this was just funny. All right, Freak is Fire, a.k.a. Demon Douglas. He loves this Crisis Inverted. And his perks, Full Bore, Light Mag, Under Pressure, Range Finder, and Origin Trait he uses on it is the Omelon Fluid Dynamics. I'm going to read his note here. I believe this role is special because of Under Pressure and Omelon Fluid Dynamics. Under Pressure granting bonus stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower, while Omelon Fluid Dynamics grants bonus stability and reload at the top half of the magazine, pretty much granting the hand cannon bonus stability indefinitely, not to mention the max range as well. He does bring up a point here. The only thing I would probably change out for light mag is either, I believe you can get ricochet rounds or high caliber rounds on this, but still, this is pretty much a five out of five. And the one thing with Crisis Inverted that I've noticed with the rolls that I've got is that you pretty much have to have a five out of five God roll for something like the Crucible. And this one kind of fits the bill. I do have one I'm going to be showing off at the end of the video that I think you guys will like. And I believe it's a five out of five and it just feels really crispy. But Freak Douglas here always coming up with the craziest just thoughts with <laughs> with the uh, trait perk, the or I guess the foundry perk and then under pressure, right? Like this. This is still pretty good. He uses this thing all the time. Next, we got Neko again here with a craftable deliverance. I believe this extended barrel, accelerated coil, so faster charge time. And then we have uh, cornered here, which cornered, I'm gonna read this off. This is a new perk, by the way. Faster charge time, 
or draw time when surrounded by combatants. And then we also have surrounded. Again, if you're surrounded by three or more combatants, you get the bonus damage. Plus, he has a surrounded spec on, which means <laughs> this lasts even out of the combat for a little bit. There's more damage and all that stuff. This is a very, very good PvE uh, I guess roll for this weapon that he crafted here. I think the only issue with deliverance in and of itself this season is that there's no crazy mods for it. Again, it is stasis, which I think is pretty cool. And maybe there'll be something for that in the future. But I know this also comes with chill clip. But like as long as you're firing with the, like the top half of the magazine, there's like a stasis effect that slows down targets in the area. So it's almost like reservoir burst except for stasis. So I think there's a couple of different things here that we can mess with. But again, I get this thing a five out of five. Next up, we have Neko again. Bro just wants to show off all of his god rolls and the trials memento, bro. We get it. Carry some people. Help me. Please help. <laughs> in any event, this isn't the first one uh, that's in here. Connor has one in here as well. It's pretty much the same role. It's not craftable. I have one with, uh, you know, the same perks here. Chain Reaction, Ambitious Assassin. It's not craftable, but this one is craftable. And he just makes sure that it is a 100% god roll, right so again ambitious assassin chain reaction this is the same perk combination as the grenade launcher uh, uh salvager salvo that's what it was that art grenade launcher from a couple seasons ago but this one is a wave frame so that's cool and to be honest this is probably the best set again he has a boss spec on i'd maybe go major but again i'm just going to trust the judgment on this one and the gold just looks freaking insane like it makes it so shiny granted I'm not all about that, but you do get the memento on it. So, I mean, a little bit of a trade-off for uh, cosmetics, and game cosmetics, and all that. Whatever you want to call it. Lastly, from the Discord, Connor here has an Adept Cataclysmic from the Master Valid Disciple. I want to talk about this because I think it's kind of interesting. Again, uh, Hammer Forge Rifling, I believe this battery gives you range. And then he has the option of four times the charm, successful warm-up, and trade column number one. And trade column number two, we have uh, high impact reserves, and then bait and switch with a reload mass work boss spec. So I think going with the... Uh, four times the charm good. I think the other battery that's here allows for what an increase to mag size Yeah, greatly increases the mag size. So it probably only gives it like one or two So I'll bump it up from five to either six or seven, but having four times the charm is Fantastic, especially for a boss DPS weapon, especially for that final encounter in Val 2 Right being able to have a divinity and then have this weapon here now I think the interesting thing to note here is that either having high impact reserves or bait and switch is interesting because if you have bait and switch you can do the izanagi swap pretty much if you don't know what bait and switch is right deal damage with all equipped weapons within a short time to give this weapon a damage boost so if you're doing the izanagi's burden swap again you shoot with izanagi's shoot you know the boss with your primary or whatever you have in your energy slot just shoot like a couple shots at it and then go to cataclysmic you get bait and switch automatically proc so you get bonus damage there for this weapon so as something connor you're gonna have to test out for yourself whether you want to use the uh, high impact reserves and be able to have extra bonus rounds at the bottom of the magazine because again with four times the charm as long as you're hitting those precision shots you'll get a lot more extra damage bullets when you get closer to the bottom of the magazine because you'll keep getting them back right so again that's something you're gonna have to test out but personally i think this is a five out of five i would just go with the other battery option that's just me but other than that this thing is disgusting all right, now it's time for me to flex some of my god rolls for the season. So I have a submission here, Frenzy, Overflow, Flared Magwell, Small Boar with a Reload Masterwork and a Minor Spec. Personally, I'd probably rather go with the Pendant Mag here, but I think Flared Magwell is just fine. Being able to reload this thing very fast is great, especially when you get Frenzy proc, you can reload it even faster. But this thing shreds in something like PvE, man. Now I got Deliverance here from Val Disciple with successful warm up, Each final blow increases charge that's draw speed. With steady hands, kills provide improved handling for... All weapons for a short duration so again if i get one kill both of these proc you know projection fuse for range stability mass work and then course your rifling i'd probably rather go with a range barrel arrowhead breaks not bad especially for the counter stuff so i can take off this counterbalance mod here but this thing feels either super crispy in the crucible or all your shots miss for some reason i think it's just because of the pattern of uh the bolts from the fusion rifle but precision frame ones feel really really good right now they can hit from a range as well i don't know what it is but this thing is not too shabby. 
Now, I got three thoughtless sniper rifles here, and first I want to talk about my PvP one. So, Snapshot, Steady Hands, Accurized, Hammer Forge, Range, Icarus Grip Mod. Again, we have all range for the increase for uh, bullet magnetism. Get that first kill, you get improved handling for all my weapons, including this one for short duration, then obviously Snapshot. This thing just feels crispy. I like the scope. I like the sight for it. It's way smaller than the other ones. I'm not sure what the heck it is, but this thing just feels so crispy, man. And then my other two here are for PvE. So, I have one with Overflow Focus Fury with Appendameg Reload Masterwork, right? And then also I have another one for group activities. I have Overflow Firing Line with Appendameg Small Bore Handling Masterwork. I wish this was Reload, but I basically kept these two for the reason of, hey, if I'm in group activities and I need precision damage for, you know, boss DPS or something, I got my boss spec on with Firing Line, I get that increased damage if I'm standing near my friends, that's great. Or if I'm running solo and I want to use the sniper rifle for stasis or for some reason, being able, to have, being able to have a pen and mag and overflow with Focus Fury, again, dealing half the magazine as precision damage, grants this weapon bonus damage, the shot count is reset whenever the weapon is reloaded. Um, as long as I run over some ammo, uh, this thing is going to have a, you know, twice as big magazine. And as long as I hit a couple shots <laughs> as precision shots, I get bonus damage for the weapon. So it's kind of disgusting. The new Witch Queen Fusion Rifle, the Likely Suspect, this is my craftable one, and this one is range, <laughs> with full bore for range, projection fuse for range, firmly planted and enhanced, greatly increased accuracy and stability, and handling when firing while crouched, and then Adagio. After defeating a target, this weapon fires, charges, or draws more slowly, and deals increased damage for an improved time. So pretty much get one kill, it slows down the charge rate, but you also do more damage, so you pretty much go up from a rapid fire frame to what would be an adaptive frame, right? And this thing in the Crucible is absolutely disgusting. Rapid Fire Frame Fusions feel so weird. It's kind of unsettling how good they can be sometimes or how bad they can be. But this one, in my opinion, is a god roll. I would say the only other things I would switch out here maybe is Slideways and then Successful Warm Up. But personally, I'm like an Adagio. I feel like I can hit targets from a little farther away. Let's talk about the Guardian Games SMG, the title. Now, personally, I already have two PvE God rolls, one with Stats for All, one for All, and then also a Threat Detector with Swashbuckler, but this is my PvP one. Again, Range, Masterwork, Full Bowl for Range, High Cal for Range, and Flinch. Dynamic Sway Reduction, Improve Accuracy and Stability while continuously holding down the trigger. And then Swashbuckler, again, I get increased damage from melee kills or kills with the weapon in general. And then, its origin trait is interesting. Classy Contender, final blows of this weapon grant class ability energy. I'm gonna be talking about this weapon in a whole separate video, talking about how I think this is going to be interesting going forward for builds that require your class um, ability. But still, this thing in the Crucible, it's not too shabby in general. I'm not here to talk about the review, but I think this is probably the god roll you can get, in my opinion, you know, range, 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 accuracy, damage. From the Iron Banner, I got this one after turning in like 1600 Iron Banner tokens. And by the way, this is like the only good weapon that I got from it. Five out of five God roll, in my opinion. Range Masterwork, Range Barrel, Ricochet Rounds for Range, and then it comes with Snapshot, and then Opening Shot, Improve Accuracy and Range at the Opening Shot of Attack, aka Better Bolt Velocity with this thing. And then obviously it's Orange Trait. During the hunt, Final Blows of this weapon grant Enhanced Radar and remove you from the opposing radar. So this thing is just, you. yep, Bolt Velocity for Range. <laughs> Very snappy, first bullet is pretty much automatically head, automatic headshot as long as you're aiming at their head. 95 on the range, yep, it's disgusting. And last but not least, this is for Freak Douglas here. So my Christ inverted, right? Full bore, range, ricochet rounds, range and stability plus, you know, bouncing bullets. Moving target, increased movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. That's disgusting. And then obviously range finder, when I'm zoomed in, it gets increased range with a range masterwork. Plus I have the Omelon Fluid Dynamics. So at the top of the magazine, I get that increase to reload and stability. And let me tell you, this thing feels so crispy. It's disgusting. If one of these perks were off, just a different one, it would not feel this good. It would feel so awful. I've tested it out. This is probably the ideal five out of five god roll you want for the Crisis Inverted Hand Cannon. And those are all the rolls I wanted to talk about. I appreciate everyone participating, putting your rolls in. Again, I couldn't get to all of them because there were so many, but hopefully when season 17 rolls around, I can do this again and you guys can flex all your god rolls, all the mementos, all the shaders, just make all your weapons look drippy. Five out of five god rolls. All that jazz i'm hoping to rate some more again in the future and if you do want to participate in that like i said my discord is in the description if you want to join that but in any event guys like i mentioned if you like what you saw like the video subscribe to the channel follow me on twitch do all the social media stuff if you'd like again that's up to you but i do appreciate you coming out to the video 
and we hope to catch you in the next one.